small light wide aperture wide angle zoom lens from Sigma has been a long time overdue until now. Sigma is bringing out this 16 to 28 millimeter f2.8 DGD and contemporary lens to their already amazing lineup. This is a lens that I have been waiting for a while now. As for Sony cameras until now there was nothing like this in this class available apart from the Tamron 70 to 28 millimeter which I am not a huge fan of but that's a story for another video. This ticks all the boxes for me and in this video I'm going to talk about its performance photography and video, build value for money and uh, in the end I'll give you my final thoughts and hopefully shed small light if this is the lens for you. So keep watching, don't skip to find out more about this lens. Before I get into it, I must say that this lens has been sent to me by Sigma UK for this review on loan. However, as always, I was not paid or asked to say anything specific about it. And this is my completely honest opinion about this lens. As all Sigma lenses, it comes in L mount and E mount, so for Sigma FP and Lumix cameras and for all current Sony mirrorless cameras as well, Lumix full full frame cameras. Its focal length of a 16 to 28 millimeter makes it a great lens for a very wide range of shooting scenarios. Certainly perfect for landscape, interiors and anything in between. This lens is sharp. In my opinion, it is way above average sharp, exceptionally sharp edge to edge, even wide open. Something that is probably more important when shooting with uh, wide angle than with any other focal length. This is really good. Very good color and contrast, given with Sigma lens really, but most importantly there is almost no chromatic aberration visible. Chromatic aberration is a problem that is more often visible with ultra wide aperture lenses or wide aperture wide angle lenses. Chromatic aberration shows usually as purple or orange fringing around the edges in images when shooting towards strong light sources. I'm really struggling to see any when shooting with this lens, again way above average here. So it's not really something I would be worried about or, or be concerned about. Also flaring and ghosting is really under control. This is something I see more often with the new lenses coming out, especially from Sigma. There's less optical imperfections present than used to be with almost every single lens in this class before. Imperfections that almost became a norm. Whatever has changed in the way these lenses are made is a good thing and hopefully we are going to see more of it in the, in the future more of this kind of quality. This lens somehow feels like a new breed of optical performance, especially in this price range. The constant aperture of f2.8 across its zoom range and the ability to focus really close to your subject, 25 centimeters to be precise, makes it a really good close-up lens too. Most of wide-angle lenses can focus close and this does it very well. It opens more opportunities to shoot differently with a wide-angle lens like this and it makes it more versatile. Getting close to your subject also gives you more of that nice subject to background separation when shooting with wide apertures. The bokeh is smooth, round and classic Sigma here. Autofocus is quick and accurate, absolutely silent and reliable when it counts. This focal range and everything else about it make it a perfect lens choice for video work. Perfect for when you need to get more in the frame in the tighter spaces but also perfect for enhancing that sense of motion when getting moving shots. Anywhere from 24 to 28 millimeter focal range you also get much less wide angle lens distortion making it more versatile when shooting from the gimbal without the need to change the lenses all the time. All the zooming is done internally so the lens does not extend when zooming in or out, making it a perfect lens for a gimbal as you can change the focal length, zoom in or zoom out, without the, the rebalancing your gimbal or pushing the motors too much. It is also a perfect focal range for vlogging or shooting yourself and your surroundings handheld with. Even though it's not stabilized, the wide angle makes it more forgiving when shooting handheld and the small micro jitters less visible. The build, this is built just like all other zooms in the contemporary Sigma lens lineup. Made out of this tough composite plastic that is light, the whole lens weighs only 450 grams. In fact, this is this lens and the Sigma 28 to 70 f2.8 weigh together, both of them, only 920 grams. Really great weight if you are going to pair these two lenses together to expand your focal focal range from ultra wide to mid telephoto. But on its own, 450 gram, very decent. There's only one switch 
on the Lens standard auto manual focus switch, and that's all. The focus ring is firm, smooth, and uh, can be set to linear responsiveness on L mount Lumix cameras. No such look for, for Sony users. The zoom ring turns left to right, just like with all Sigma zooms. And as I mentioned before, the zooming is all internal. The lens does not extend when zooming with it or when changing the, the focus plane, like from close to infinity. Filter thread of 72 millimeters, bigger than 67 millimeters of the 28 to 70 millimeter lens. It would be great if only these two lenses had the same filter thread, but, but they don't. Only light weather sealing at the mount of the lens, making it maybe less perfect if you shoot or intend to shoot in extreme weather conditions with it. Value for money, this lens will be retailing for £750 here in UK and for $899 in US. Great price for this focal range and for a lens delivering this premium quality, but if you are a Sony shooter, this price is great here in Europe, as it is about £100 cheaper than the Tamron 70-28mm lens its closest competition. In US, however, the price will be pretty much the same of this as the Tamron lens. In my opinion, this is a better lens than the Tamron. I will be doing side-by-side -side comparison video of these two lenses very soon, but if you are already invested into Tamron ecosystem with 28 to 70 mm and 70 to 180, this Sigma might not be your first choice. However, if you are looking for your first ultra wide angle zoom or superior wide angle wide aperture zoom with internal zooming, lightweight, and most importantly, amazing performance, this is incredible value for money. It is a perfect companion to Sigma Amazing 24 to 70 mm art lens, but a perfect lens to extend your focal range if you already own or planning to get Sigma 28 to 70 mm. These two are literally baked in the same oven. For L mount camera owners, there's nothing really to compare it to. There's a Lumix 16 to 35 mm f4, but that's double the price of, of this. Conclusion, I am getting this lens to add to my everyday kit as soon as possible. Do I need to say more? I really like it. The quality it delivers is just outstanding and it is a lens very easy to shoot with, perfect for video, either for handheld shooting, vlogging, or for enhancing that sense of motion when shooting from the gimbal. Wide angle, but with enough zoom to completely change the perspective and one lens that is also great for close-up shooting. Little versatile lens that is pretty much perfect at under £1,000 or, or dollars. I couldn't recommend it enough. Sigma, you've done it again. And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way informative or entertaining. If it was, please give me that thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram for more photos and videos from all lenses and cameras that I review here on my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. In the US, however, the price will be pretty much the... And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way informative or entertaining. If it was, if it was, if it was. Wide angle, but with enough zoom to come.